All right. Whoops. My camera's got switched again today. We're going to roll up and down the fingers. And, oh, hello, Alaska, into the palm, right on time. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. <clears throat> and down to the wrists. And across the knuckles. And leave the ball in the hand and interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release and squeeze. And release and a squeeze. And release and let's go around the back. Switch, switch, <clears throat> switch, and switch. And then hinging at the waist to the legs. Switch, switch, and switch. And we put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel. Making a note of the ankles, the knees, the hips, and step on the ball, pressing down three times. Go up to the knuckles, press on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel, pivoting on the toe. Press down just below the first knuckle. At the side of the top of the heel. And in the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release. Reassess and repeat on the other foot. Middle of the foot, knuckles, roll across the knuckles, roll across the top of the heel. And press down in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And screw. Three. Two, one, release, put the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Three, two, hello, arch, one, 
center, twist it to waist, swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather in, starlight. And center, same thing the other way. And center. Take some forward steps. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. And then slap the heel in front. And then behind. And then cross step with the twist. And then we'll walk, <coughs> march, or jump, uh, Saturday, I'm going to do the seated exercises, we'll do some sit the stands to start it off, but if you want to do rapid squats, go right ahead. Do what you're doing if you want. Be safe. I'm going to sprint. And we've got five Tibetans in the after fight. Ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Ten. Twenty. And thirty. 
Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Bring the hands up. Stretch up on your toes if you can. And then back down. Lean back if you can. Back to center, drop one hand to the side and lean in that direction. Back up, drop the other hand and lean in that direction. Back to center, interlace the fingers again. Drop the hands to the chest, push out. Come on down, use a strap or a belt or a piece of cloth or a towel if you need to, but otherwise try to grab one hand with the other, one on top, one on the bottom and pull. And then reverse the positions. And come on down and shrug. And swim. Reverse with the backstroke. And the breaststroke. Extend the arms and tap the shoulders. Extend the arms and squeeze shoulder blades together and hold, opening the chest. Breathe, release, squeeze, inhale deep, release, and one more time, squeeze, inhale, Release, bring one arm across the body, press in out of above the elbow. And then the other. First hand behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. Grab both arms, rock side to side. Come on down and rotate the neck. And go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder.
uh, bring one hand up and over cup the other ear. Look up as you pull the ear towards your shoulder and look out the corner of your eyes towards the ceiling. And then drop your chin towards your collarbone and look down towards the floor out of the other corner. Come on back to center, do the same thing the other way. First looking up. And drop the chin and look down. And come back to center. Tuck in your chin and pay like a pigeon. And let's grab a stick. Start by putting the stick on the inside of the arch of one foot, the other foot bends out, bend. At the knee and stretch the quad, the uh, adductors, the inner thigh. <clears throat> and then go the other way. And come on back to stand and bring one leg in front. Put the stick behind it. Hinge at the waist. Stretch the hamstrings. And uh, come on up. Press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then do the same thing on the other side. Starting with the hamstring, of course. And then solo foot. Yeah, come on back up, bring the stick to the shoulders or just below and twist at the waist. We're doing Lee's dynamic stick routine. And then if you want, you can bring some steps in as usual. Do it slow if you do. And then bring the stick up overhead and go side to side. And then blow the waist side to side. And then to one side, back and forth. And then to the other side. And then in front, paddle the kayak. And reverse direction.
bring the stick up to the shoulders, hands are, the palms are facing out, block the wrists. And then drop below the waist. And above the head and below the waist. And stop at the shoulders, reverse the position of the hands, palms are facing in, flop the wrists. Bring it below. And above. And then bring it behind the shoulders again and do six knee ups on either side. And then six hip rotations only go as high as feel safe. Come on around with the stick in the middle. Hold on with two, one, or a figure of two. At the top, hips are, I mean, feet are hip width apart. Dig the toes into the floor. Rock back and forth from the first metatarsal to the fifth. Creating a flat foot and an arch foot. You just go back and forth. And then with the toes still scrunched into the ground, hold on the fifth metatarsal, creating an arch for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and down. We'll put the stick down and grab the chair. I'm going to do 10 sit stands. You want to uh, put your hands wherever it feels right for you. You can push off if you need to. Put them on your chest. Out. Up. And behind the back. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, and down. Let's put the hands in the air. You're in the middle of the seat. Come forward about 45 degrees, engaging the core, bringing the navel back towards the spine. And we'll do seven. <clears throat> and then cross the arms, still in the middle of the chair, tap the back of the chair with your back. And I remind you, these are great exercises to do before you have a dinner party or something. Lead everybody. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. And seven. Cross one leg over the other. Rotate the at the ankle five times in one direction. And then five in the other.
and then rest the toes towards and away from the shin 10 times. Put your hands on the knee and hinge at the waist, pushing down on the knee, just slightly. It's that hinge that gets the stretch on the hips. And come back up with the sole of left foot on the floor, bring the other leg up. Again, we'll do five rotations of the ankle in each direction. Toes back and forth. Ten and then inch at the waist. Pushing on the knee. And come back up. And let's do five kicks with each leg. Hold on to the side if you need to. and extend the legs and come across and try to touch the toe. Core is engaged. Doing seven. And then we're going to do five marches on each side. Just bring the knees up. And then extend the arms out and slide with your hip to one side and then to the other. Put your hands behind your head, turn to one side and then the other, shifting at the waist. And then come back and let's do some seated jacks, seven to be. Size. And then um, let's uh, do some breath. Wait, we're doing four, seven, eight. Uh, Andrew Wiles, four, seven, eight, relaxing breath. So that's four, count of four in through the nose, hold for the count of seven, exhale through the mouth with a, uh, some sort of gentle sound, maybe an ah, whatever suits you for the count of eight. I'm going to do four rounds of that, four, seven, eight.
And then stand up, get the chair out of the way. Rub the hands together to generate chi. And form a chi ball. Ooh, it's a feisty chi ball today. Let's see. All the way to Manhattan and up to Garrison. Energy is exploding. As we center and take two breaths. And open our hearts. Pause on the inhale and exhale. There it goes. And center. Two breaths. And bring down Chi from above. And uh, gather from below. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Namaste. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Mira. Have a great week. You too. And, yes. See you Monday. All right. Good to see you. Going to do five Tibetans? Absolutely. All right. I don't do Tibetans. I, I let my husband do that. All right, but you're uh, directing the operations. Yeah. She's director in chief. <laughs> All right. It's worked so far. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Up to 11 spins. Two. Three. Yes? Somebody call me? No? Five. And the other six. So you don't get easy one. And seven. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you. Right. You're counting. Got it. Try to do it. And then we're going to go to the floor. I'm doing the work. And holy smokes, art. Art is taking over. What happened to me? I got. Um. <laughs> wow. All right. All right, so we're on the floor. That was strange. And we are 
Hands are either by the side, under the small of the back to provide support to the lower back, or underneath the head if you need support at the neck. In the modified position, the soles of the feet are on the floor, and you come up with head, neck, and shoulders, and soles of the feet at the same time. Unmodified, extend the legs and come up. Bend down, and we'll do 11. However it feels right for you this morning. And then take two breaths. We're going to come up on our knees. Hands are on the back of the thighs or on the glutes. You can just rock back if you can't do back extensions because of spinal issues, but if you can extend back, do so. Come forward. That's one, two, two, eleven. And when you're done, take two more breaths. Come around, sit down. Hands can be behind your back if you need them back there, but usually they're by the hip. And the feet can be on the floor or legs extended. And the regular version. Either way, we're coming into the inverted table and down, and we'll do up to 11. And when you're done, take two breaths. And then we're going to turn around to options here again, the modified version. You know, a tabletop all fours. And you come into a cobra. Regular version, down dog into up dog. Up to 11. When it works.
And when you're done, you sit cross legged in whatever configuration works for you or not. And rotate for, uh, five times in one, six times in one direction, and five times in the other. And then we're going to pause on the last round to stretch out and do a round the box breath in front on the left knee and then on the right. You can sit up or bend down. One. And I'm stretching out, four in, four hold, four out, four hold on the breath. Over the left knee. And once again, over the right. And then come up. And reverse the position of the legs. Oh, the front goes behind, what was on top goes beneath. Five times in the original direction, six in the other. And again, we'll do three rounds of box breath. Let's go. And one more stretching out. Let me. And the right knee. Come on up. So now. All right. Art, somehow you got stuck on gallery view. I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I just got a call from Callie, so I was out of the room. Ah. Uh, but thank you. You're welcome. And uh, Mira, Tom, have a great weekend. All right. Take okay. care. Well, what about Eva and Yoel? Yeah, what about Eva and Yoel? Oh, are they? Yeah, they're, they're you up said the Eva. I just said Eva. I didn't see you. Uh, yeah, you said Mira. That's, that, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I felt I felt so neglected by you when you called me Mira, and you <laughs> my husband. But we will make up for it next week. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. All right. Bye. -bye. I will see you later. Good weekend, and I shall see you later. Okay. I need to get downstairs and buy some fruit and vegetables.